Hi, Jay here. In this video, I'm going over how to get started with CPA or cost per action affiliate offers. This is going to be the basics for newbies. I am also going to cover how to add, you know, banners and text links to your website or blog so you can get paid. You know, you, a lot of people show you, uh, they'll tell you the basics of what is CPA, but they won't show you how to add the actual creatives to your blog or website um, so you can get paid. I mean, that's pretty much mandatory if you want to do this kind of marketing. So I'm going to show you some basics on how to get started. Uh, what is CPA? And the difference between CPA and traditional affiliate marketing. And how to add them to your website or blog. The the creatives, banners, text links, etc. Now I'm, I'm, I'm going to go off track here for one second. Right below this video, in the video description box, I have a blog post complete with video training, and it's how to make money online in 2017 uh, with affiliate marketing. It's excellent, and it goes over you know, how to get started, uh, where to sign up for traditional affiliate marketing networks like Amazon, ClickBank, JVZoo, how to earn instant commissions. Uh, cost per action, like what you're watching this video on, I'm going to add this to this blog post as well. It's a must see, there's some good information in it, so click that link in the video description box, head over and check it out. Alright, back on track here, let me get started here. The difference between cost per action, affiliate marketing, and traditional affiliate marketing is with traditional affiliate marketing, you only get paid when you refer a sale. You have to you know, sell that particular product or service that you're promoting in order to get paid. With cost per action or cost per lead, affiliate marketing, you're getting it paid per action that you perf per action per action that uh, whatever visitor that visitor performs or whatever you're promoting. So if you're, for example, this one's an Uber form, as you can see here, you can see from the screenshot, it's kind of small here. Uber needs partners like you, and then they want your name, email address, and etc. Now, when when somebody fills out that form through your banner or text link, and however it is you're promoting it, when they fill out that form, you get paid. They don't have to sell that. You don't have to sell that particular product. You're, they're performing that action, and it's a, in this particular case, it's an email, an email form they have to fill out. So once they do that, they click submit you get paid and you get paid three dollars and twenty cents a lead for that particular one there's also ones you um, where you can that person uh, say it downloads a particular software and that's a, another particular action that that uh, vendor wants you to perform they want you to get a download of their software on their that person's computer whatever they pay out whatever they pay out it's all different but as soon as they perform that uh, that action, you get paid as well. So that, that um, they don't have to buy whatever it is for your promoting. You're just they perform that particular action, um, your visitor or customer, and you're going to get paid. So I hope I summed it up well for you. That's the difference, the main difference between traditional affiliate marketing and cost per action affiliate marketing. So with that being said, here's some um, examples here. I'm on the home page of Max Bounty here. Uh, this one's called Get My Lender. It's a mortgage refinance one from the U.S. They pay $28 a lead, which is very, that's a really good offer to promote. It's a high paying offer. If it converts, that's another story. But um, it pays well. Finance Fitness Central and credit card, $240 a lead. This one pays $320 a lead, $1.60 a lead. This one pays $15 a lead, and you can go through the list here. There's tons of products you can promote through these networks. Uh, now, whatever niche you're in, you, you know, maybe you're in the make money online niche, maybe you're in the diet weight loss niche, maybe you're in, you know, you're doing credit cards, whatever it is that you may be interested in promoting. All you got to do is click the search campaign button button here on the left hand side. All right, and, you're, and right here you get search results. You type in whatever it is that you're interested in, click search, and those particular you know related CPA offers will pop up. 
And you can go through here, and it's going to tell you how much you get paid per lead, CPA rate, earnings per click. And there's 26 pages. So this is every offer that they have in their network. And like I said, you can narrow it down. Just type in uh, whatever you want here, and those offers will pop up for you. But I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just going to show you how to do this real quick so you can get started. Uh, get my lender. This one pays $28 a lead, so I'm going to use this as an example. Click on that button there. Now it's going to say commission details, completed application, and it'll tell you what what it is they want you they want your visitor or customer to do. And once you know they do that particular action, that's how much you're going to get paid. That's twenty eight dollars a lead right there. Your status important. Make sure you're approved for the for the offers that you're promoting through the network. Because some of these you got to get approved individually for. So make sure it says approved before you promote it. Daily cap. This one says ten leads per day. You're only allowed ten leads per day. So that shouldn't be a problem. Some of them are unlimited. A lot of them are actually unlimited. So make sure you read that as well. Countries allowed, United States. So only United States traffic is allowed on this one. It tells you the earnings per click and all that good stuff. Let me get to the good stuff here. But once you find an offer that you want to promote and you're approved for it, you're going to go down to creative. See, so it says select creative type. This is how you're going to get paid. So this is very important. And you're going to get banners, search, and contextual. So they've got banners you can add to your blog or website. Search links. Uh, if you want to run a you know search campaign. And contextual links, which is like a blog post. You're promoting that that offer through a particular blog post. You can use that one. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second here. You're also going to want to look on, this is very important, allowed traffic types. For each offer, it's going to be different. It says website, contextual, search, social media, mobile, desktop. So pretty much all offers, you can promote this any which way. I don't see email marketing in here besides your email list. So if you got a, you know... If you want to promote it through email, your email list, you cannot promote this offer through that because it doesn't have it here. But any other way you want to promote it, you could promote this offer. So make sure you look at the allowed traffic types. Um, so you're playing by the rules. All right, now what we're going to do here is select a creative type. I'm going to go to banner. You can see they got different sizes here, 300 by 250. Find the size or the banner that you like the most, or you're going to want to place on your blog, in your blog post, or in a widget area. I'm going to show you how to do that. And we'll use this dude as an example here, 300 by 250. So we're going to click on Get Tracking Code. You're going to copy this tracking code to your website. And your, your code's already going to be included in there, so you ain't got to worry about it, your affiliate code. It's already done for you. You're approved for it. It'll already be in here. So don't worry about that. Just copy the code as is. Click close. And I got a little, one of my older blogs. I'm going to use this as an example to show you how to do it. How to add a banner to your website. Okay, this is a blog post. How to add CPA creatives like banners and text links to your blog. Okay, you want to add a banner to your blog post. This is what you do. Real easy. We copied that code. There's a visual, which you probably should be in already. And there's text. You want the text format. You're going to see the, like, the little weird code here. Now you're going to want to, wherever you want to place it, well, I'm going to do it on the top, the very top here. But if you want to place it at the bottom of your blog post, just go to the bottom of your blog post. And after all, your text is... You know, entered, you're going to paste it there. But if you want it at the top, like I'm doing here, just paste that code. Now, see all that weird code that we just pasted there? We're going to click visual. Shows up right there. See how cool is that? 
And that's how you're going to get paid once this is published, yada, yada, yada. But that's the visual. That's your blog post. Your CPA link is included in there, tracking link. So once this blog post is published, you know, you're going to want to obviously go through and write whatever it is you're promoting. Click publish, share it on your favorite social networks and all that stuff. Optimize it and all that good stuff. That's for another training video, though. And then when they click on that link, they go through that particular action of whatever product you're promoting, you're going to get paid. So that's how to add a banner to a blog post. Now if you want to add a banner to your widget area, you're going to go to Appearance. And I'm using WordPress as an example here, WordPress.org site. And I highly recommend you start a blog or a website on WordPress. And I have... Right below this video, I have a recommended web host 60% off right now. It's awesome. And it's the one I use, so you can check out that link um, in the video description box right below this video and get started with them if you plan on uh, st starting up a website or blog, which I highly recommend you do. But go over to the widget area here. I'm going to leave the page here. This is going to be the side area on your blog, and it's going to look different for everybody. But what you're going to do, click that text link here. It's just a plain text link. It's going to be on your left-hand side. You're going to hold it, and you're going to drag it up to wherever you want it. And put in whatever you're, whatever you're promoting. That's the code there. We're going to copy that into the content. And you're going to click whatever it is you're off you're promoting. Uh, tutorial post, I'll just put in here. You, when you click save, that banner is going to show up wherever you want it on the top right hand side of your blog so people see it right away. And when they come to your blog you know, or website and they click on that banner and they perform that particular action, you'll get paid. So that's all, all you got to do is to add um, a banner to the widget area of your blog. And then make sure you click Save. I don't want to do it because uh, this is, blog is totally unrelated to whatever it is I'm, I'm showing you how to do here. So I'm not going to click Save because I don't want this on my blog. But um, that's it. I mean, it's real simple. Now, if you want to... Um, we're going to go back over to that post, and I'm going to show you how to add a text link real quick. Okay, you want to click Edit here. It's saved as a draft. Going back to Max Bounty here. Okay, now I want to go over to Contextual. That's like context inside your blog post. That's what that means. So we're going to click on, see this is a description here, contextual, get tracking code. We're going to click on that. And that's the landing page that shows you when they click on that link, what it's going to link over to. And that's already has your code as well, so don't got to worry about any of that good stuff. Copy that code. Click close. Go over here. And you're going to I got some little, this is just an example. You can put whatever text you want. You're going to highlight that text. Click that little link bar, that chain, where it says insert edit link. You're going to click that. You don't want the broken one that gets rid of the link. You want the one that's intact. That's how you're going to add a text link. Click that link. You're going to paste your URL in there, that code that we just copied. Click paste. Apply. You're good to go. See how it's highlighted and it's a clickable link now? Now once I publish this blog post and it's live on the internet, when somebody clicks on that link, it's going to lead over to that CPA offer. When they perform that action, you get paid. So you can do that on any text. It's real simple, and I notice in a lot of training videos they don't show you how to do like the basics, how to put a you know uh, you know 
uh, blog text and how to add a clickable link inside whatever blog post that, um, that you're promoting or a banner, how to create a banner, etc. So that's why I'm showing you how to do this stuff so you can get paid. It's very important. So moving on here, that's how to do that with a WordPress blog. Real simple. We're going to go back to Max Bounty here. Now I'm going to end this video. There's a ton of offers that you can promote on these CPA networks. Like I said, stop in and check out my How to Make Money Online in 2017 guide. Uh, it covers everything. It's a huge blog post. It's very, very helpful. And I'm going to show you how to get started with uh, affiliate marketing and you know, how to make money on the side with affiliate marketing. And I pretty much cover everything. It's complete with training videos, etc. So the, the link will be below, like I said, right below this video in the video description box. Now, one more thing I want to end this video on. Some of these CPA networks, like Max Bounty and Purefly, there's a form you gotta you got to fill out to get started. And they usually want you to have a little bit of experience. So make sure, I don't want to go into how to do that. It's not really difficult, but search on YouTube how to get approved for Max Bounty or how to get approved for Purefly. So if you put you just starting out, you don't know nothing, they might deny you. So let them know that you have a little bit of experience, which if you watch my training videos, you're going to have anyways. So you can get a, you can get approved for these these um, CPA networks like Max Bounty and Purefly. Find some good offers to promote and start making some extra money using cost per action affiliate networks. Uh, I'm going to end the video right there. I hope you enjoyed it. If it helps you out. Uh, please share it on your favorite social networking site. I would appreciate it. Also, do not forget to, sub to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all my future video updates. I will see you in my next training video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.